When we were in Bristol the other day, we popped into the central TK Maxx. TK Maxx, you say? We are the luxury pickers and this is a TK Maxx video. No, we popped into the central um, TK Maxx because we don't go there often at all. Um, and I thought it would be a gold mine for gold label. Yeah. And this video just goes to show that you can't judge a TK Maxx by its, its location. Or size. <laughs> or size. You would think looking around now there would be a lot more. Yeah, so we're going to use this video as more of like a label uh, a label lesson, if you will. Or yeah. like just looking at labels that you can... I think the main thing is you can take the knowledge that you find in TK Maxx of labels and high-end pieces. And, and use apply it everywhere it, else. Yeah, apply it to what you find in charity shops and at boot sales, etc. And I think that's important. So straight to the clearance rail, of course, Austin, of course. That's the only place to go, Joe. Um, first up is this Forte Forte waistcoat. I love Forte Forte. I just, as a brand, I just love it. It's a it's, very high end brand. We saw the piece recently, didn't we? Yeah, we have. Um, I put on comps on the screen of actually um the same jacket, but from a uh, consignment company. Um, that's definitely an option if you don't feel comfortable selling your high end goods. You can do a fifty fifty agreement with a consignment shop. Yeah. And you'll still probably be well within your profit, as you see that one sold for two hundred euros is about 180 pounds ish uh you would have got 50 percent of that and the 40 40 waistcoat was 30 so maybe that's something we'll do a video on going forward because that's a business model we used to use in some respect so not as in sell to other people but we used to have that in our brick and mortar one of our brick and mortar stores so maybe that's something we could talk about in the future yeah if how you that could work as a picker yeah if you don't feel comfortable selling it on ebay you can actually have someone do it for you and you pay them a fee to do so yes yeah, true uh, trisadi is one of those brands you see a lot of in tk maxx not one of my favorite brands Brands. Um, I think they overproduce for a higher end brand. But very, very, very expensive when it comes to kind of retail. Yeah, and there's a great comps on Vestiaire. Um, if anyone doesn't know, you can look up solds on Vestiaire. You just change the filter and then you can see what sort of type the brand in that you're looking for and then press solds. You can get a rough estimate of like the, what different pieces are going for, etc. Nice Fari blazer there. Uh, Fari by Nicole Fari, which is obviously the diffusion line. £32. Down, pounds. down to £32. Pounds. What would that have been original retail though? Uh, about 200 Yeah. So that's a bargain. Uh, you know, once again, whether you're buying for yourself or, or it's something you want to kind of... Um, if you're trying to get yourself into the kind of more high-end bracket. I know it was a fusion line, but still a great brand to look out for. It's a slimmer margin, though, if you're selling on eBay with that brand. Um, if you're obviously branching out and cross-listing, um, you're probably going to make a few more pennies. Um, I wouldn't necessarily pick that brand up from TK Maxx. I think there are better options. I agree with that. If I've got £30 in my pocket only yeah. and I'm not going to TK Maxx, I can find something better than that. And there are um, also, ch remember to sure. be checking the labels because if it is made for outlet, especially if it's that sort of more lower end brand, I wouldn't necessarily pick it up either. Yeah, true. The other thing I was thinking about just watching that is if you're in a TK Maxx and you're kind of looking to you know, solely to kind of resell, is I do think um, we did a, a, our most recent podcast was about kind of different platforms and what sells where. I do think, um, you know, there are pieces which would sell very quick on eBay. There are pieces which would sell yeah. quicker on Vestiaire. Yeah. Or even Depop <clears throat> in some respects. You can't just go in straight thinking eBay comps. No. Yeah, this is a sweaty petty jumpsuit. I just thought it was really this cool. This is fantastic. Double XL, reduced to 32 from 120. I've sold sweaty petty jumpsuits before and they do command a great price despite the 120 top price retail. And that's even used, isn't I it? I can they... normally get about £80 for them used. Um... So there's a lot of Sweaty Betty in TK Maxx at the moment, I'm finding, and it's all bigger sizes. Um, so if you can get rid of them really knocked down on the yellow label price, it's well worth looking out for those sorts of things. Yeah, for sure. I also think, um, I think that there's there's enough, but there's not en there's not too much as a point to maybe kind of bringing the prices of Sweaty Betty down, as we've spoken about before, maybe in TK Maxx, when something kind of is literally shoveled in. I think Sweaty Betty is always going to have a high demand because it's a very popular brand. Yeah, I agree. Um, C by Chloe is the diffusion line. Line, um, Chloe. of Chloe and I'll show you the Chloe label in a minute I'll pop that on screen for your reference this was reduced down to £40 um, it was just a plain white top with the broadery anglaise sort of cuffs which was a nice uh, feature Chloe does sort of specialise in boho like yeah I agree with that like like country chic mm, maybe like not pretty yeah uh, lace Soft. lace kind of yeah um, Quite feminine, actually. Yeah, so the, the more sort of like floaty, boho-y, floral thing you can get from that brand, the better the sort of um, Boho's profit a good margin word, yeah. is, yeah. 
Iceberg. Iceberg is a core brand, um, originally kind of um, opened in the 70s, uh, kind of mid-70s, I believe. Mostly well-known for kind of the 90s resurgence, for kind of denim and, um, well, the 90s kind of era in general. Didn't has, has, has a little bit of resurgence. with that? Um, one of the brand, loads of loads of kind of nineties hip hop stars, Tupac, uh, people like that were, were notorious. Excuse the pun for it, um, and did very well. They had a recent nineties resurgence, so keep an eye out for some of those collabs. The denim jackets do really well, and the knits. The knits do really well. Uh, anything which is can kind of be used. It's very streetwear based. The whole brand, even from the seventies, it was yeah. very kind of like that kind of era. I also wouldn't rule out as well, this is just a normal rail, but I really wouldn't rule out picking up high street brands from TK Maxx because they tend to be the uh, labels that go lowest in the sales. So if you can get like Zara newer tags and Bowdoin newer tags for like under five pounds, newer, newer tags. Yeah, that could be a 40 pound dress. Yeah, you're getting, it's the same margins as a charity shop, but better yeah, in I agree. a way because it's new. It's also a lot easier to sell something with, new, with newer tags, I believe. Well, well, yeah, yeah. That's a big statement, but I'm saying, I think as a reseller, if it's cheap enough. It is, because people feel like they're getting a new item. However, I have found recently with TK Maxx that you need to look out for condition. Because it is a busy retail shop, things get dropped on the floor. I agree with that. And then they can't be washed because then they're not your tags. That's a really good point. That's a Um, really good point, actually. So then you either have to remove the tags, wash it, and put the tags back on and say it's not new tags, but you have the tags. Yeah, that's a really good point. No, you're right. And we've seen a lot of whites and creams kind of uh, with uh, uh, knits with kind of marks on just from drop, maybe drop on the floor or whatever whatever it would be. We went straight to the sort of full price rail at the front of the store. This was the gold label in Bristol and they only just put it in that weekend. So this is Rag and Bone. So it was very small for a central Bristol store. This is Rag and Bone Puffer. That's an amazing puffer, by the way. Yeah, it's £200. Um, however, this is top price is 7 25 This is more of a reference for when you're out looking and understanding uh, retail prices of certain brands, etc. Explain why you picked this coat up and what you said to me at the time. Oh, it looks just like the one that Hopper and Joyce wears in um, Stranger, Stranger Things. Things you it know does. when they're escaping very the thing it's very kind of 80s vibes isn't it yeah that was down to 200 but I actually found the alternative colourway retail on that one was 564 amazing they had a lot of rag and bone knits which are really cool these were lovely Techni- and they were long line now yeah technically out of season but you can be picking up these things um, obviously they will sell now but they'll also sell better in winter so you can start picking them up now if that makes sense does that make sense it does this was cool from Alberto Ferretti um, I found retail for this was it was reduced down to two hundred and seven. I believe it was like one two five um, in TK Maxx. So once again, I mean there is going to be a margin there, but it's going to be very slim for a hundred and twenty five outlay. Yeah, it depends what you want to put in to get out. Yeah, this was a really cool brand. I looked this up. So it's Ash uh, Ashish 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 Ashish. 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 Ashes. Anyway, it was um, a really, really nice uh, embroidered, embellished skirt. Um, their dresses retail for about $2,000. Wow. Um, so it's a very high-end brand. Cool. I found some sole comps on Vestiaire for about $200. Um, this was cool. Yeah, classic brands do really well. This is obviously Burberry. It's yellow, but it is Burberry. Uh, £50. I think that's actually really cheap. And I found a sole comp for 182 on Vestiaire. I also think with the athleisure thing, that's a cool, that's a cool vibe. So you, what are you getting back there? Like four times your money, three times? your money yeah after fees exactly that yeah uh, they've had a lot of off-white recently in um the gold kind of label sections i think it's really cheap um off-white obviously a brand um from virgil abloh um the basic t-shirt was lovely and it was decent price this actually was even cooler though it was kind of like um like an athleisure kind of um tech material fabric but but it's more of like a runway looking piece yeah, they were, they were both 50. I yeah. just think that's really cheap. So cheap. Like they were I think they were extra small small. Um What's the top price there? Like 250. That's probably more. I would get I would guess that's more. Um if I'm incorrect apologies. But yeah, there's like the the basic t-shirts go for anything between 250 and I didn't like, even put comps in you know, there. They were well worth picking up. I didn't they even were. there's no point putting comps. This is Marcus Melda. This was actually a limited edition collaboration piece. They wanted 60 for it. That's had cool a, as well, isn't it? Yeah, ostrich feather trim. If you ever see uh, the feathers like that and they're like skinny and long they're normally ostrich feathers yeah do you know what it sounds funny but the things like that you take for granted that you know but yes. like you don't explain but that's a really good point I know I found a reformation dress in the wild but I found one in TK Maxx apparently Boom. £60 top price 270 is that a dress or a jump, shoot, jump dress was it yeah cool. and people get 100 plus for new for a use sorry is that 100 plus well? for use yeah that's awesome so you're putting £60 in in but you should get about 120 you should double up you should double up after fees just under double so it's it's how your business model works 
um, and how you, you know... If I was you just going to say, it's down, down a business model, isn't it? Because yeah. if you want to deal solely in, like, what we call new stuff... Yeah. That's a good way of doing it. And if you want to drop a few new pieces in just to, like, brighten it up or, I don't know, like... Or be more contemporary or... or stimulate. Yeah, exactly. Stimulate. Um, it's, it's, it's well worth it. Um, it's not... The thing is, it's not... You can't really use it as a wholesale service or anything like that because you're no. never going to get the quantity. The volume, the sheer volume, the, yeah. I agree. Especially if you're hand-picking like we do. Yeah. Well, apart from the sale time and then we come out with, like, millions Baskets, of baskets, baskets. Stuff. Yeah, I agree. They were vel- vel- velvet from Graham and Spence. I like that brand. It's really nice. Selling Harvey Nichols. I think it's a really underrated sort of basic. Sells very quickly as well, doesn't it? I always find it sells very quickly. Yeah. Always, a lot of the time it goes over to America. I find that brand. It, it, it's not an American brand though, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it makes sense then. I think it is. Okay. Don't quote I, me. I, I wasn't a question. I, I was a question, but I wasn't. I wasn't questioning you. Money. Don't take it personal. These were cool. I love money. Um, the best thing to look out for money is the incredibly oversized stuff and the really like sort of like elevated log and look, like tailored log and look. Which funny you should mention. Because these are really oversized trousers. They are. Is yeah, that what they you were getting at? Exactly what I was getting at. They are ginormous and they're amazing. 130, I would list them for about 200. Retail would have been about four to 600. Um, so, yeah, there is money in it. You I was so trousers. excited by these that I showed Bethany. Um, there is money in it, but you have to sort of be open minded when you uh, source in TK Maxx. Um, I know a lot more people are doing it now or like dabbling or seeing what they can find. And it is very interesting to see because. I think you sometimes you get blinded by the brands, but you need to sort of use it as like a, a what's the word, like a learning tool. Yeah, I agree like with you. Like sometimes it's worth just going in, looking at the sorts of brands there are, making notes of the brands, seeing what the comps are on eBay, Vestiaire, Westet, whatever you're Yeah, I agree with at. that. And then either taking it to the charity shops and boot sales and, and seeing what you can find or, you know, dabbling a bit in sale time and then gradually, like, grow your confidence in it. Does that make sense? 100%. And I actually think, going back to they were amazing. They were from Paco Rabanne. Um, they were, like, the most amazing sandals, um, strappies I've See, seen. See, I feel like Paco Rabanne's one of those brands now Look at the price. that everyone thinks is, like, a just perfume. Oh, uh, no, not at all. Um, these are retail was 750 and they were down to 167 Um, The problem I have with shoes in TK Maxx, we do pick up shoes in TK Maxx, is condition. Yeah. Um, because when they get shipped to them, they're normally just in like massive like vats of also shoes. also boxes unless i've seen some of the london stores and maybe they some get of boxes the, yeah, they, get boxes. they get boxes but I'll, I'll tell you now bristol bath some of the main kind of um ticket max stores we hit and even the smaller ones very rare do you have boxes unless it's maybe children's um some of those who had boxes previously what i was going to say just as regards you mentioned for brands and kind of yeah. knowledge and looking forward for research i actually think that um well personally they have a lot because of the american connection with tk max they have a lot 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 of american what i call boutique brands which maybe yeah. you've not heard of so i think it's a great learning territory if you want and they also buy all their luxury things in wholesale so they buy all their luxury pieces from uh third party like specialists if you will yeah so they don't really know what they're getting they just know it's going to be a massive bundle of this season to this season keep an eye out for these these are called soho grit they're kind of very like very um 90s kind of um what were the 90s classic versions of those we sold a few pairs Fila destroyers no 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 no. they're like there's a brand um x1 was one of the brands and we, oh x yeah something uh, like there's a few different brands which made them acupuncture that's what yeah. i'm thinking of um so they were kind of a newer brand but they were good to look out for these were amazing they were like a snow boot but they were from hunter and they were yeah. only like i think they were like 40 quid or something i think um hunters other shoes get written off quite a lot because people like picking up the wellies and things like that but they've actually done some really cool collaborations more recently they've done a. Uh, Hunter and Stella McCartney because the creative director of Hunter is married to Stella McCartney. Oh, I see. Inside yeah. job. I get um, you. But those boots are those <laughs> boots are selling really well. Upwards of two hundred if you can get hold of those. And these were I'm not wrong, am I but about forty quid these were? These were twenty pounds. Wowzers yeah. in my trousers. And they had four pairs. So yeah. that's an opportunity there cool. to buy quantity because you're gonna get you're gonna get sixty to seventy per pair. Yeah, there you go. Um so that's Quick got a nice well. margin in it. Load of aqua scutum here, just kind of basic tees. Like they they weren't particularly cheap. Um, by the same token, like I I don't know how resale works with those kind of things. The vintage stuff goes. Well, they're better. made for outlet. That's all about and, made for and outlet. They, and they're very obviously made for outlet. Something that's not made for outlet would be this. So this is interesting. I wanted to talk to you, peoples, about children's clothes because a lot of people write off children's clothes. I mean, I wouldn't pick this up for a hundred pound. However, if this is Dolce. Just to clarify, to, you could. This is Dolce and Gabbana Kids, and it resells really 
really, really well. 150, Souls. 250. This is recent. This is June and July. Um, and this dress, if you can find a connection, this dress was worn by Penelope Disick or Penelope Kardashian, whatever you want to say. So if you can find a if you can find a celebrity reference, um, then that's always useful for selling a garment. One hundred percent. Um, but people spend a lot of money on their children. Yeah, um, I agree. And as much as adults. 100%. 100. Actually, we have we have friends who spend probably more on their children's clothing than they do on theirs and 100%. are really irrelevant to themselves. Yeah. You know, so, like, uh, I would also say, uh, in the same respect, you know, when you first start reselling, maybe you don't spend a £1,000 on a coat and you have a coat which you're reselling for a yeah. £1,000. Just because you wouldn't spend it, don't think someone else wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So some people are like, write off kids' clothes because maybe you don't spend a lot on your kids' clothes yeah. or, or maybe you buy pre-owned or you don't buy labels, which is cool, 100%, you know, each of their own. What I'm saying is, d don't treat everyone the same as you um kind of that's how people think outside the yeah. box and, and i have to say you know? i'm guilty of not checking every kids row and every charity shop but it is worth it sometimes um i wouldn't for example i would only pick up selective polo kids and then a lot of polo kids ends up in yeah, I agree. charity shops um downfill coats ski wear that sort of thing edwin jeans there basic t-shirts to be quite frank once again with children like anything they just get used abused and washed yeah so you have to be careful condition from that perspective. But we found a lot of vintage Dolce and trash shots, children's wear. Stella. A lot of vintage, uh, a lot of just general Stella um, and other brands like that, vintage Gucci. And that all sells really well, as much as bread and butter adults. So it is worth picking up. And kids wear is normally really cheap in trash shops. And, and once again, sorry to interrupt you, like I always do, but the, don't be kind of sc scared or put off by kids' clothing. Because to be really honest, if you know brands for uh, ma uh, male and female clothing, you already know... Like, like a, a multitude of brands you don't even know you do know in kids in the kids yeah. realm just look up whether the brand like dolce do kids fendi do kids burberry do kids gucci do kids Stella mccartney does kids moncare does kids i can't name it like they all do kids they do all do kids Gucci, uh, Gucci, um, an older T-shirt. There's two there. Um, we've, we've talked about Gucci and TK Maxx before. It's always a lot older. They've once again these are bought, bought in bulk, usually by like a wholesaler or, or, yeah. or a discounted stock. So these aren't something you'd have seen in the last probably five, ten, fifteen years in some cases. These are early two thousands. And they were they weren't cheap. They're they're always up. They're always around two hundred um, in TK Maxx. Um, you know it. <laughs> It is worth it, but it is an older label and you have to be aware of that. It isn't new stuff. This was cool. I wanted to show you this. This is Christ Christian Lacroix. That's the kind of the the, fa the, the famous Ab Fab line. Lacroix, Lacroix yeah. sweetie. Lacroix, Lacroix, Lacroix. But they still make clothing and the they vintage, make some cool vintage stuff. The vintage stuff does really well still. This I picked up because... Um, uh, Ode to the Chaddy P. This is Universal Works. I remember when he used to sort of pick it up loads Universal he, yeah, Works. Yeah, And this is Harris Tweed. This uh, is Harris Tweed. This is, is it, what was it? Like a um, It's just a, a, a chore jacket. jacket. It's yeah. a chore jacket thing. Um, but they still want, they wanted 160 for it off the top of my head. Which is a bargain if you're wearing it, but, but as regards resale... I wanted you to see that you could get those brands there and if you were lucky enough to find them on the clearance rail at the end of the season, then it's well worth picking them up. A lot of people see the same brands like Folk and, um, I don't know, like the sportswear brands and think that's all that TK Maxx has. Exactly. Um, but they do get one-off pieces and it's worth, you know, keep checking on them. So the Masoni hat I just picked up, these are all made for Outlet. Um, they, they don't hold a huge amount of value, if I'm honest, uh, especially as a reseller. They're nice enough hats, but they're obviously, if you get up on clothes and personal they're obviously not full price items um i know that sounds really like snobby but it's just a fact would you not agree those ha and they don't really fit in with the brand ethos or the brand look or the not brand at all. style and that's what i mean so that they sort of i don't know people that are like admirers of the brand i find don't tend to pick those hats up if exactly that makes that. sense even even the shape and style it's just not that brand yeah. you know well, um i actually wanted to just show that considering this was a central Bristol a TK Maxx it was probably the worst TK Maxx I've ever been in yeah and just to reiterate because I probably uh, spoke over you when you said they'd had a gold we spoke to, I, sp I found a, a um, somebody who worked there and they said they'd had a gold I asked if they had a gold section and they said funny enough this has been started this, was it this week or today yeah. or whatever it was it was very very recently they've just got this and that's where we found the off-white the money etc 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 so sometimes if you sh you're not sure your store your local store has one ask if they have a gold section if not it will be kind of 
put in various sections yeah. around the store. If you do live in Bristol and you're looking to do retail arbitrage in TK Maxx, I'd actually suggest the Cribs Causeway branch if you're able yeah. to travel. Agreed. And there's also a home sense across the road, so you can do some um, kitchenware. Um, home sense for anyone who doesn't know, it's a, a home um, a home store which is actually owned by the the owners of TK Maxx. Yeah, so it was very interesting. Um, sometimes you just have to sort of like it's like charity shops. Sometimes you're just not going to find anything, and you've got to use it as a learning experience and uh, check on the brands Get check what brands out. they've got yeah. even pick up the high, most expensive thing in there and just make a note of the brand Austin really wanted to show you the donuts I like donuts that was donuts and even better what what goes better I didn't have donuts but what goes better with donuts not just Dr Pepper Dr Pepper oh, did I pick Dr Pepper probably not now just you for this you did pick Dr Pepper but, uh, Dr Pepper cherry though that yeah. is a, that is the life let's pour and let's just enjoy that See, Ricky Resells has got the hash browns and we go hard on Five Guys. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I, I'm not even Five Guys. If, 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 I, if I would get one single they can of Dr. Yeah. Pepper, I would be over the moon. Like, we just, cherry. We, Jesus. We just wanted to end on, on a positive drink note um, because... It's it, what, like I was saying, it's just sometimes it doesn't smash, and sometimes you just gotta go in and make the best of the situation. Uh, make notes of some brands, use it yeah. as a learning experience. If you if you if you if you use fuel to get there, or you've walked and you've taken twenty minutes to walk there, whatever it might be, five minutes, it doesn't matter. If you've bothered, that how I look at it. If you've bothered to go there, make it a learning experience. Make get something from it, even if it's research or or, or kind of a mental note or yeah. whatever. It's not just. I mean, I know we want to pay the bills and get and get money in the bank. I get it, but sometimes to do that, you actually need these kind of downtimes where you are researching, you are looking out for these brands, and so on. Yes, or you could just go and get a five guys. That's okay. K2. Yep. Bethany looking down in the dumps because we've bought nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope it, you found this mildly informative. If you haven't, I'm terribly sorry. We'll be back to normal activities next week. But I just wanted to show that, you know, the goods, the bads, the uglies and the TK Maxxes. <laughs> Bye.